and if you're already into Sunday in the European and Australian time zones, Sunday is going well so far. I have to do the math. Probably three o'clock in the morning, Sunday. So Sunday probably hasn't started yet. Or no, three o'clock in the afternoon. So you should be, you should be well into your Sunday. Uh, let's see. I'll just turn it. Probably it So, uh, my Saturday was lazy, didn't do much. Shocker. I went to sleep in. Uh, but that's usually how it goes on a Saturday. I won't have that luxury tomorrow. I have to get up and go battle the early morning hours so I can get some cardio exercise in, which is good, recovering from a slight back injury. So I'm just easing myself into it, which is fine. But for the, the main event that y'all for, get right to it. Saturday evening. And of course, the week has come and gone, and I did what I could. Experience and practice points I had. And I managed to make it to 14th place in the Sapphire League. 19 hours to go. I don't think there's much with today's practice that I'm going to get to get myself up there, but it doesn't matter. Uh, in it for the competition, that would be nice. Uh, just getting in it for the practice, which is what he needs. So yesterday we delved into the new realm of plants, and today we're going to go into uh, an apartment and things that happen. Said German apartment habitation and cohabitation. But as I mentioned uh, yesterday, I have been skipping briefly the hints for uh, each section because I thought they were exactly the same. So not anymore. Every time I go into one of these hints after um, getting a crown and going up a level, I'm going to check it again just to make sure there aren't new hints, which they were probably be uh, this round. Especially since I haven't gotten a crown in apartment yet. So it's definitely important that I check the hints until I'm fully familiar with everything in this lesson. So, what's the rent? Very few people in Germany own their own home. Just live in apartments. Storage problems? Nope. They can just buy another shrunk, which is a kind of standing wardrobe. I think most of us um, have that kind of situation and we've run out of space to put said shrunks. Shrunk. Shrunk. Closet. Say it isn't so. In English, we say, I don't like the table. In German, uh, nicht ghost to the end. So, for instance, uh, my friend doesn't like the table. Mein Freund macht den Tisch nicht. Mein Freund mag den Tisch nicht. So, my friend likes the table not. So, it sounds like we're in a Wayne's World movie where after everything they say, it's the sarcastic not. So, my friend macht den Tisch nicht. My friend likes the table not. Funny way of saying it, but you know, this is how they describe things. First they get the important stuff out of the way, just saying the table and liking said things. 
And after that, they go into uh, the less important things, whether or not they actually like it. Uh, you also use nicht before an adjective to say it isn't so. So, the chair is not comfortable. Der Stuhl ist nicht bequem. Uh, hear it? Der Stuhl ist nicht bequem. Bequem. So, the chair, the stool, easy to remember. Hi, Jakester, welcome to my stream. Oh, I'm sorry that you failed uh, German in high school. I hope that has not dissuaded you from trying it again, at least uh, in a simple capacity. And hello, or as they say in German, hallo, with just an A instead of an E. Um, I never took German. Uh, my long-term partner from years ago uh, actually spoke German. He majored in German literal literature and went to uh, intern in Vienna, in Austria, for an entire summer. So it kind of pushed me to want to learn it, and I finally had uh, the guts and the time to do it, even though I should have started last year when everybody was learning new languages after COVID. So I've only been taking this for four months, and I've been doing this in the easy five minute lessons a day, but I've been adding practices. So it's not too crazy. We're not too far along. So if it's basic enough for you, you can catch on and learn a little bit, um, which is my goal to have people learn as I go along and learn another new language. I, I have um, a few languages under my belt in college, I did Latin and Greek, which are inflected languages. And after learning those, I was told that my next language to learn uh, would be German because it is also an inflected language. So the sentence structure will be easier to pick up if you've had other inflected languages before. Uh, in English, we don't have that so much. Uh, or Spanish, which is just my native language, or other Romance languages. There's like a few cases uh, left, you know, like for possessive, uh, showing possessives, but it's really very limited. So German definitely goes into it a little bit more than most of the modern languages we're used to. Yeah, if you can pick up basic greetings, like just saying hello, uh, good evening, which is guten Abend. Today, uh, that's more than enough for like a basic stream. Uh, so, in in my stream yesterday, I mentioned and was having a discussion about cognates, words that look the same in one language and another. Um, and sometimes they are false cognates; they look like something that you're familiar with, but are definitely not. Uh, I still like to use them, even if they're not true cognates, as association. Like for instance, in German, the word chair, der Stuhl, um, it doesn't say chair in English, but we do have a sitting piece of furniture, stool. That sounds like that, so I'm gonna tuck that into my brain and hopefully remember that stool could be used as chair. Um, however, comfortable, like them, uh, seems like a tougher word to log into the uh, database. Oh, and uh, even though we said um, uh, they're adding not at the end uh, when you're saying no to a verb, like you do not like the table, uh, you add it at the end. But in this case, uh, they, add, they didn't add it at the end because they're not saying um, this is not a chair. It's saying the chair is not comfortable. So when it's being used as an adverb, a word describing an adjective, you're sticking it in there uh, instead of at the end to make sure you understand that the descriptor is for uh, the adjective comfortable. That's as much grammatical definition uh, and sentence structure as I'm going to get into. Say no to nouns. In English, we say, I do not have a desk. In German, you say, I have no desk. 
And we definitely learned that in a previous lesson, which most people say, I have no money. I don't have any money, instead of saying, I'm broke. Uh, my dog doesn't need a desk. Now, unless it were Sherlock Hound and was writing novels on a desk. Uh, mein Hund braucht keinen Schreibtisch. Uh, so my, my dog, my Hund, mein Hund, that's an easy one to remember is dog. Uh, braucht keinen, so braucht needs not. He does not need. And I like this word for desk, Schreibtisch. So we know Tisch is table from the previous uh, example. And Schreib, I associate with a scribe, someone who writes, so a writing desk. It's just kind of nice to make that correlation. And you'll see a lot of compound words, so even though they look somewhat scary because they're so dang long, um, once you break them up into pieces, you start seeing the method behind the madness. <laughs> oh, uwu, Odin, uwu, hello. Uh, good morning. Why are you awake so early Sunday? I have no idea. I'm guessing it's also freaking hot as hell where you are, so not the best time for you to be awake in the morning. Oh, that's right. You and your Sunday work days in Israel. Oh. Funny too, that's kind of warm. You know, not not uh, killer, killer crazy, but it's still pretty warm. Okay, so now we get into uh, der or den. Oh, I'm sorry, I'll stay inside with the air conditioning so it doesn't go too, too cray-cray. I know you know how to live uh, indoors, and you're not going to meet anybody at the office, yeah, and uh, you don't have to be on any video calls, right? Uh, let's see, etc. Change when the noun is at the receiving end of a verb. So, uh, der or den. Uh, der, ein, uh, the pronouns for the table, or a table. Okay, well, remember, put on a shirt uh, before you get on one of those video calls, because it might be frowned upon if you don't. Uh, so this is where we get into the uh, inflection part of this, where they're actually using cases. So in the nominative or subjective case of a sentence when the object or the noun is doing the action. Okay, TMI, but yes, go get dressed. Um, it's D for feminine, der for masculine, and das for the neuter gender. But when you're in the objective case or accusative case, uh, go stand outside and you'll get dry really quick. I guarantee you. Um, that's when they're saying that the that the word, the pronoun changes from der, which is the nominative, to den, the accusative form. Oh, yeah, no, that, that would be worse, so don't stand outside. And stand in front of the AC then. Uh, so do you like the table? Which usually would just be um, their tish, but because it's being used in the accusative, like the object of your like, it changes to dentish. Magst du dentish? Magst du dentish? For here, I don't have a carpet. What don't you have? The object of having would be a carpet. Ich habe keinen Teppich. I have no carpet. It's extremely useful, right? Because we all have tables. Uh, we all have uh, carpets. If you're in a cooler climate that requires carpet, um, you missed my last two Sundays streams. On Sundays, I like to use a lot of, so far, uh, Eddie Izzard and his language rants being funny. 
Uh, and I know that depends. If you don't like eating apples, that may not have been the best example for your bullish. Uh, but my last two examples of videos have involved, he does, he actually does know German. He knows a lot of French, but he was going off uh, about, if you've seen his stand up, he's going off about um, the Romans and Hannibal going over the Alps with elephants. Yeah, his French, his French is phenomenal. His French shtick was my second one. So he's going on about how difficult uh, Latin was. And, you know, the, the reason that, that uh, Hannibal was able to defeat them with two elephants, because uh, that's all that ended up being left after they crossed the Alps, um, is because it just took too darn long for him to say anything, for any of the soldiers to get anything across to everybody because it's such a long sentence structure to say say very simple things and because he doesn't know latin he was like going through the the cases and declension um he would slip from his uh french which is his default into german so he kept saying mein herr mein herr so he kept sprinkling german and french while he was trying to go on a rant about latin so to me, that's hilarious. Having studied Latin, it's it's funny. And then the one I showed last Sunday was of him using sentences like "the mouse is under the table," "le souris est dans la table," "the cat is on the chair," "cat est sous la chaise," and "the monkey is on the branches." "le singe." sur la branche you know it's like you can't do that there's no um proper time for you to ever use those sentences unless you go to france with props and go find a wooded area and you know set everybody up and like just run into some random stranger where you can start talking about the mouse and the cat and the monkey and the branches oh yeah cake or death is hilarious it's not a language sketch but it's definitely a, a hilarious one. <laughs> yes, but at least even though the monkey went off and did his thing, the monkey was still doing activities which he, he could still discuss in French, you know, riding a bicycle, you know, he's sous la bicyclette. Uh, uh, he is smoking a pipe, you know, un pipe. Um, so at least it, it was funny. Oh, she had a cake or death in Russian. Oh, well, now I need to learn how to say that in Russian. Uh, okay, so changing to the accusative only happens for masculine singular nouns, though. So keep that in mind. Everybody else stays the same and they don't change. So I don't need a lamp. Lamp is feminine, stays the same. So ich brauche die Lamp nicht. I need the, the lamp not. Ich brauche die Lampe nicht. Die Lampe nicht. Uh, do you like the bookcase? Magst du das Bücherregal? Bücherregal. I'm, I'm putting the double R's in there because my, my Spanish wants to roll those R. Magst du das Bücherregal? Bücherregal. Okay. Uh, so I'm guessing in this compound, Bücher is Bücher is book and Regal is Bücher. And regalis case, although it's an odd pairing, but at least I'll remember book and boucher. Yes, please go put on shorts. How oh, lucky you got to see him. I see him anytime he comes here to the Bay Area. Um, although we had this discussion with Frodo, now it's not he, now we um, refer to Eddie as they uh, or she because they have officially come out and wanted to be undressed in the feminine. So we shall address Eddie in the feminine. So now with that tip, we can go on to the lesson. Oh, look, and the nice thing about checking the tips is that we get freebie uh, vocabulary uh, lessons thrown in there in case you, uh, you've never had it. I mean, they give you things you already know, like the grandpa, their opa, 
and their tish, which we also learned uh, in the example. But they gave us one we don't know, their tapish. Um, and here I'm going to rely on my Spanish uh, cognates to make it sound uh, similar to like the word we say for not carpet, but more like, um, let's say, like tapestry. Word for tapestry um, sounds like tepish in Spanish, the same as it does in German, just tapis or tapiseria. Um, so that's how I'm going to try and memorize that carpet. It's not necessarily carpet on the floor, but tapestry carpet. Der Teppich. Teppich. Ich mag deinen Teppich. Ich mag deinen Teppich. I like your carpet. Well, it's nice that she likes the carpet. Otherwise, it would be uh, unfortunate that she's going to someone's home and immediately says, Ich mache deinen Teppich nicht. Ja, ich mag den Stuhl. Okay. Yes, I like the chair. And Lily is our emo kid that doesn't seem to like too many things. So it's nice that she likes that. Yeah, ich mag, mag den Stuhl. If I pronounced the mag right. Ja, ich mag den Stuhl. Ich mag den Stuhl. Ich mag den Tisch. I like the table. Okay. Ich mag den Tisch. If you say it too, uh, too close together, it sounds like you like the dentist. Which I think most people would, would not say they like the dentist. Unless they're masochists like me, and then they would say yes. Ich brauche einen Stuhl, aber ich brauche keinen Tisch. I need a chair, but I need no table. You don't need a table. Ich brauche einen Stuhl, aber ich brauche keinen Tisch. And here's where they're using that change in the accusative because uh, the chair is the object of the need verb. So it's changing from ein Stuhl or der Stuhl to einen Stuhl. And same for table. Der Tisch becomes uh, keinen Tisch because it's not a table that they want, but it's still in the accusative. Wir brauchen einen Hund. Oh, okay. We need a dog, which is a sentence that a lot of people would definitely want after this past year. The shelters for animals were definitely uh, empty because if you were going to be locked up in quarantine, you needed a furry baby to keep you company. So we need a dog. Here, this is the plural of we, uh, and then brauchen, need a dog. We have brauchen einen. Nein, ich brauche keinen Teppich. Nein, ich brauche keinen Teppich. No, I do not need. Uh, carpet. It's going to be a tough one to remember. So, nein, ich brauche keinen Teppich. Wir haben keinen Hund, wir haben einen Fisch. 
we do not have a dog, we have a fish. At one point, I had both a dog and two fish, so survive fish. Um, that's a bit of a personal question, uh, so I'm going to pass on answering that one, Odin. And uh, if you say fish three times, he might appear on stream. Yeah, I need to set up a bonk just for you, Odin. We don't have a dog, we have a fish. We have a hund, we have a fish. Brauchst du einen Teppich? Uh, do you need a carpet? Or do you need, yes, do you need a carpet? Brauchst du einen Teppich? See, so far just. Wir brauchen you. einen Tisch. Because fish has not been has not been in my stream, so until he commits a bonkable offense, uh, he does not get a bonk. But you you definitely get a bonk. You're gonna get your own uh, Odin jail for that. Okay, so we need a table. This sounds like an episode out of France where they were shopping for a table. Wir brauchen einen Tisch. Wir haben keinen Mitbewohner. Uh, we do not have a roommate or roommates, but I think it's the singular. Wir haben keinen Mitbewohner. Don't have a roommate. Wir brauchen einen Tisch und einen Stuhl. Okay, they're shopping for multiple things in this one. Uh, we need a table and we need a chair. Wir brauchen einen Tisch und einen Stuhl. Nein, wir haben keinen Tisch. And then maybe they should talk to these people. Uh, that uh, no, we don't have a table, and they should go all, all go shopping together and find said table. Nein, wir haben keinen Tisch. Wir haben keinen Stuhl. We do not have a chair. Wir haben keinen Stuhl. Um, I actually know how to say mouse, so it's. Feminine D mouse, M A U S. So at least I know how to say mouse. I don't know how to say monkey yet, uh, but I do know how to say mouse. I do know how to say, okay. So I just haven't learned the prepositions for under and on. So mouse is the mouse, uh, their tish. Mouse is under the table, their tish. Uh, the cut, the katze uh, is on. Der Stuhl, the chair, and then I haven't learned monkey or tree or branch yet. So when I can do that, I can do Eddie Izzard's uh, Stick in German. Der Tisch ist zu teuer, aber ich mag den Stuhl. The table is too expensive, but uh, I like the chair. So they're settling for not taking uh, the expensive table, and they just take the cheap chair and whatever table needs they they have. Maybe they'll just put something on their lap or get TV trays. Der Tisch ist zu teuer, aber ich mag den Stuhl. Those flexings, it's time for a hard one. We need a table and a chair. Wir brauchen einen T. 
Tisch und einen Stuhl. We need a table and a chair. Wir brauchen einen Tisch und einen Stuhl. Nein. Ich brauche keinen Teppich. Oops, wrong one. It's we. Oh no, it was right. It's, right. It's I, not me. Brauche keinen Teppich. No, I don't need a carpet. Nein, ich brauche keinen Teppich. Okay, not bad. I'm sometimes a little reticent to do uh, new lessons on stream until I've done them a few times. In case I mess up horribly and, you know, set your learning back way too much. Uh, I think you should get all of that. Coffee and toast and cheese all sound good. And on that note, I'm going to have my tea break quickly. Because talking to you uh, takes a lot. Now I can see why Gio is always drinking tea. Okay, so we've done our lesson for the day and things needed around our apartment, like a chair and a table and a carpet. Now we can do our easy lesson. Lock. Lock. The G at the end sounds like you're saying CK. Lock. Meine Tochter, mein Sohn. Meine Tochter, mein Sohn. Daughter, my son. Meine Tochter, mein Sohn. Ü. Ü. That's the U with the umla, which kind of sounds like you're saying U with an O mouth. Ü. Meine Schwester und mein Mann. Meine Schwester und mein Mann. My sister and my husband. Schwester und mein Mann. Ach. Ach. And this CH sound is kind of difficult sometimes because it gets stuck in your throat and being on Kiki's stream if you're a back Odin. I think we had the I pronoun discussion of ich and she's like, you don't say ich like you're saying yuck, ich. Uh, sometimes you say ish and on some pronunciations with ch on here, I keep hearing ish, um, but clearly for this one, they're just saying ach, like A-G-H almost. Ach. It really depends on who's saying it and how they're saying it. Mein Vater und mein Sohn. Mein Vater und mein Sohn. My father and my son. Vater und mein Sohn. Hallo, ich bin Karl. Hallo, ich bin Karl. I should not have started drinking right before I hit that button. Ja, du bist mein Mann. Oh, someone needs a reminder. Yes, you are my husband. Ja, du bist mein Mann. Uh, now, unless he has a very bad memory, it shouldn't be something you need to remind them of. Ja, du bist mein Sohn. Same here, unless you have, uh, unless you're doing one of those um, uh, encounters you were like adopted and 20 years later you meet your biological parent. Yes, you are my son. Ja, du bist mein Sohn. Ja, du bist mein Sohn. Ich bin Nina. Well, hello. So this is an interesting way to say it. She's saying literally, I am Nina, which is 
what we would say when we introduce ourselves. But usually we go with the what's your name, what are you called version. So I have seen um, ich heiße Nina, like I am called Nina, my name is Nina. So it's interesting that they're, that they're saying this. Unless they're, there's like a body swap situation and she has to say, no, shoot the other person, I am the real Nina. Can happen. Du bist meine Schwester. You are my sister. Du bist meine Schwester. Du bist meine Frau. Oh yeah. You are my wife. And you better remember that, sister. Or Frau. Du bist meine Frau. Meine Frau ist klug. Now this is something I would definitely say of my wife. Uh, my wife is smart. And yeah, my wife would be smart, definitely. Frau ist klug. sister and my husband. Meine Schwester und mein Mann. Meine Tochter ist sehr klug. And not to toot my own horn, but if I had a daughter, she would definitely be very smart. Uh, meine Tochter ist sehr klug. So here we have uh, the family tree, my sister and my brother, meine Schwester und mein Bruder. Mein Mann und meine Mutter. Here's hoping they both get along, my husband and my mother, mein Mann und meine Mutter. A uh, very simple sentence. Hello, I am Carl. Hallo, ich bin Carl. Mein Bruder und mein Mann. I wonder if that's maybe how you say it when you introduce yourself before even being asked, what is your name? You just say, you know, ich bin Alexis without having to say, you know, Ich heiße Alexis. My, I am called, or my name is Alexis. So, my brother and my husband. Bruda und mein Mann. We had this one before, so better remember. My daughter is very smart. And a Tochter is sehr klug. I love that new uh, animation of Duo giving the high five. I want a high five from Duo. I do a good job, definitely. Duo, please don't kidnap my family if I skip a lesson. I'm still at 14. Not not taking my totals quite yet, so we'll see maybe after the next uh, harder practice and the story time. Schna. Schna. I haven't really seen any spelling for this that has a 
uh, has a word that's spelled like that. So we'll see where it comes up. Schna. Schna. Except for schnapps. There we go. If we get uh, any any reference to a German alcoholic drink, might use it for schnapps. Ihr Deutsch ist sehr gut. Uh, his, or I'm sorry, your German is very good. I believe this is the possessive your for someone who is formal, the formal you. Ihr Deutsch ist sehr gut. I'm sorry, her German. So ihr is the possessive for her. Spree. 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 I keep securing that word and because I'm I'm watching a series on Free Farm called um Motherland Fort Salem. And like the evil organization in that one, the bad guys were called the Spree. I keep thinking that anytime I hear Spree. But it's probably not the same thing. Spreche ich zu schnell? Uh, do I speak too fast? He does not. Vikram does not speak too fast. But when we have the voice cues from B, she definitely speaks too fast. Spreche ich zu schnell? It almost didn't catch my cue. I struggled with that one. I speak too quickly. Ra. 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 I'm definitely not speaking too quickly, but I am stumbling over some of these pronunciations. Ihr Deutsch ist sehr gut. Ah, good thing we just had this one. I always might have missed it. Her German is very good. Ihr Deutsch ist sehr gut. Let. Let. Nope. When you add the H, it elongates vowel. And since I don't see an E, it's got to be an A with umlaut. So the umlaut makes the A sound like an E, but the double consonant of the T makes it a very short, um, short uh, syllable. Let. Let. And we have it again because I stumbled on it, so it's good practice. Her German is very good. Ihr Deutsch ist sehr gut. Dünn. This one sounds short. Dünn. But not quite. So dünn. Dünn. Dünn, yeah. That one sounds short enough. Dünn. And we just have this one too. Do I speak too quickly? And the zoo I keep forgetting. The S's are like Z's, but the Z's have like a TS sound, like two. And as an aside to not just a false cognate, uh, but the complete opposite cognate, Schnell to me looks like snail, which I would think is slow, but it's actually fast. So I have to switch my brain and like don't go for the obvious. Do I speak too quickly? Spreche ich zu schnell? That was mean do. Alright, easy practice, medium practice. Now we can go and do a story time. So if you're uh, getting close to bed night. <laughs> Thank you, Jigo. Uh, good morning, good afternoon. Mm, cafe is so uh, I'm glad you're enjoying your coffee. That is very good. You didn't sleep tonight, Odin. Oh, that's a shame. Really? Are, are we going to start this on my channel too? Odin, are we gonna woo Jigo? Well, at least I have cute 
animations on screen so they are uwu worthy. Okay. I take it you're going to save your tea for uh, later in the evening, Jigo, since you just woke up this afternoon. Uh, it's coffee time, but later in the evening it'll be tea time. Uh, yeah, let's all feel bad for Odin. He didn't sleep because he was doing something um, that he could have maybe not have to do, like staying up playing video games. Uh, and then he has to work. He needs to uh, allot his time a little bit better, especially before he goes back to work. Nonsense talk. All that woo-woo nonsense talk. I shouldn't say, because we're not at the art segment yet, but I'm toying slightly with having my fourth emote design be an uwu. Uh, it's, it's not definitive. I haven't settled on it. Uh, maybe I'll make it like a second or third tier emote. So if Odin wants it, I'll have to work for it. <laughs> Sorry. I'm so sorry, Chico. That's that's why I'm I'm saying I haven't settled on it. Uh, I already told Frodo what my second emote is, and he might be ready to unfollow me because he was definitely not pleased. My second emote is going to be a, a pineapple uh, with an emphatic yes, and uh, that goes against every fiber of his being. But because the pineapple debate comes up so often, it seems like something that I need to have ready at hand to like just slam it down and chat and say yes, emphatically yes to pineapple. I, I guess I am. Like, I love you guys, but these are my core beliefs and I will express them in my emotes. No, if you want that, you need to stream and get affiliate and get your own emotes. I will never endorse that for you. In fact, I will ban, I will put that word in my no, no list. So if you say it in my chat, you're going to get banned. You're going to get, uh, you're going to get that word like taken out. So beware. Odin is now going to be unfollowed because of that. <laughs> Not right now. I still have to fix Nightbot because I wasn't expecting you to be in my stream. I kept telling you to come visit and you don't come visit. Okay. Yesterday, we tried to help poor Oscar at the department store. It did not go well. So today, we shall see something about a new video game. Uh, let's see if I remember because Frodo corrected me on the case for this. Uh, Ein neue Videospiel. I think it was masculine. Oh, I, I have a story after the language lesson. Uh, about my affiliate woes today. It, it was not a good day. It started out as a good day with my affiliate message, uh, but it turned into a not so good day with my affiliate um, travails. So it is a lot of effort and a lot of uh, poop jumping. You are, <laughs> you are all going to be welcome. I do not hate any of you. Okay, fine. I'm toxic. Because apparently it's, it's infectious. And everybody that goes to Geo stream is toxic. First, what's their name? And then Fredo. And now me, right? There must be something about Geo stream. It just breeds toxicity with, uh, with all those cute video games that he plays. They rot your brain, right? Ein neues Videospiel. Ein neues Videospiel. 
a new video game. So it is masculine, I am. Junior und Eddie sind im Kaufhaus. Junior and Eddie are at the department store, in the department store. Junior, Junior and Eddie sind im Kaufhaus. Papa, ich muss auf jeden Fall das Videospiel hier haben. Okay, that's a long sentence. Let's see if I can uh, decipher it. Papa, obvious. Uh, I must... I must have the last, the newest video game they have here. I know, I'm sorry. I definitely have to, so that's a complete phrase. Ich muss auf jeden Fall. Okay. So I definitely have to have the new video game here, here in the department store. So. Papa, ich muss auf jeden Fall das Videospiel hier haben. Now it's a mouthful, but you know, it's saying a lot. Um, yeah, it, it sounds also like the voice for Junior is the kid who's do doing the uh, Sir, may I please have some more from Oliver Twist? Du musst das Videospiel nicht haben. Uh, you definitely do not need to have the video game. Du musst das Videospiel nicht haben. Bitte, Papa! Das Spiel hat total coole Aliens! Okay, now his tone has changed into the begging and pleading uh, puppy dog eyes. Please, Papa. Bitte, Papa. Um, the spiel, uh, the video game has uh, totally cool aliens. This is not a phrase that needed a translation from German into English. Um, but it's nice to see that it's exactly the same. The spiel hat total coole aliens. What is Junior telling his dad? He wants a video game that has cool aliens. You could decipher that even if you didn't speak German. Although it would be cool if the answer was aliens have invaded the department store. Junior, du musst das Spiel nicht haben. Du. Junior, you don't definitely don't have to have the game. Du musst das Spiel nicht haben. You möchtest es haben. You like to have it. Möchtest es haben. Möchtest es haben. The difference between definitely must have and would like to have. And most of the things we want are in that either must have, need to have, want to have. Gut, ich möchte das Spiel haben. Bitte. He's a smart kid. It's worked before. And he's tricked his dad into uh, giving him money to go buy things when he's not paying attention because he is watching the soccer game intently. And... That's apparently a good time to ask his dad for things. So now, fine. I don't definitely have to have it. I simply would like to have it. Please. Gut, ich möchte das Spiel haben. Bitte. Nein, du hast zu Hause so viele Videospiele. Which is very true for most kids. No. You have a, a house full of video games. Nein, du hast zu Hause zu viele Videospiele. So, at the house is actually at home. So many video games. Yeah, he has way too many. Odin? Careful. Okay, gehen wir jetzt nach Hause? Okay, are we now going home? Gehen wir jetzt nach Hause? No, that's not an uwu. But that is definitely a resigned junior. I didn't, I didn't name names, but there are some people in my current chat that have a lot of video games. Although I believe in your case, Chico, 
you have a uh, like video game pass or like monthly subscription where you don't really have them you just try them a lot so you're technically not really owning them you just have like the the luxury of trying them out really this this was uwu this was uwu and you're okay fine let's try them a lot equals playing them fine. but you don't actually well you don't really physically own anything because most of the time it's just you download but they're not taking up room in your cpu and you're not actually going to the store to get them you don't necessarily get to keep them you just get to download and try and then your trial is done, I guess it becomes inactive on your computer. I don't know. Uh, okay, what's the option meaning home? Nach uh, Hause. They definitely, definitely don't have the exact amount right there. Nein, wir gehen jetzt zu Vikram. Yeah, and Odin definitely, definitely does not. Uh, no, we're not going home. We are now going to Vikram's house. Nein, wir gehen jetzt zu Vikram. Oh nein, seine Wohnung ist so langweilig. Oh no, his apartment is so boring, I believe. Yes, boring. Uh... Sein Wohnung is so langweilig. Uh, and that's unfortunate for a little kid who doesn't want to go somewhere where it will be boring. Although, I used to have someone say there are no boring places, just boring people. Maybe he just has trouble finding excitement in places that don't have video games for him to play. Um, it's interesting to note, here's the... the vocabulary nerd in me, that the word for boring, langweilig, sounds and looks a lot like long dwelling or um, long living. And I think there's like an equivalent old English version for, for this word. Um, so I know I must have seen it somewhere where it gets picked up. Two hundred thirty. That's a. That's not too bad. I think my games are probably still in the single digits of the ones I've actually opened and played with, not the ones that are in my Steam account. Do you go? Don't go stock my Steam account again to verify. But mostly it's just I've downloaded them because they're free or cheap, but I've never actually played them. I don't know if that's worse. Aber Vikram hat einen großen Fernseher und ich muss das Fußballspiel sehen. Oh, this is the perfect moment for Junior to teach, to teach his dad a lesson. But Vikram has a huge television. Aber Vikram hat einen großen Fernseher. And definitely, ich muss... Das Fußballspiel sehen. Watch the football game. Und ich muss das Fußballspiel sehen. So now, now Junior's gonna get him back with this one. Du musst das Spiel nicht sehen, Papa. Du möchtest es sehen. There you go. He's, he's quick. Uh, you definitely don't have to watch the game, Dad you would like to watch it. Muss das Spiel nicht sehen, Papa. Du möchtest es sehen. What did they both do? Uh, looked out for aliens, definitely. Uh, they said must have something that they simply wanted. Yes, that's very true.
All right, so from today's lesson, we learned langweilig is boring, uh, Wohnung is apartment, gut is good. Yes, I'm going for the easy phrases first to uh, knock everything else out. Nine is no, and many is viel. Yay, 51 experience points. And let's see if that has made any change to my standings. Nope. I am still at 14. With 18 hours to go, I definitely will not be exiting the Sapphire League for the third week in a row. I sound jaded about that. I don't know why. Okay. So... I've uh, done this in my other streams, but since most of you in my current chat are European or German, and I think Jigo has already seen this, but sorry, European or Australian, Jigo has already seen this, but uh, in case there's anybody lurking in my chat that's on the North American, US or Canadian side of the continent, um, I'm going to do my giveaway right now. So any lurkers that want uh, my very handy uh, mac and cheese, if you can see it, there we go. Okay. Sorry, I'm looking at a delayed camera. Um, so if any of you want this, you can enter in chat the phrase and let me set up the phrase in the giveaway moment please And if you enter the phrase Cheddar Goblin, you will be entered into the giveaway and you will win a tasty box of Cheddar Goblin Mac and Cheese. And in the meantime, I'm going to run uh, the very funny, in my opinion, commercial uh, for uh, said giveaway so you can see what you're into. What you're might be in store for. Yeah, I know kids are not your favorite, Odin. Um, but yeah, it's definitely, definitely not sus at all. 
And if you're wondering, this uh, Cheddar Goblin commercial comes from a really uh, cool yet trippy movie put out by my entertainment company, H&M. And is called Mandy. Play the trailer. And now. Under the crimson, primordial sky, the wretched warlock reached into the dark embrace. His fist closed around the serpent's eye. Strange and eternal. I need you to get me that girl I saw. Do you know what to do? What you gonna do with that thing? We're going hunting. So what you hunting? It's crazy evil! You think you're so in love? I'll show you love. Oh man, they robbed you. Ah! Ah! In the cosmic darkness. It glowed from within, strange and eternal. What's the black metal band logo? Oh, from Mandy. I actually have that shirt. I've worn it uh, for other other movie premieres because I like the the ambigram that they uh, that they had made for that. So I think it's pretty cool. So that is the end of the language section. Now, because metal bands are like super cool that's why uh let's see if there's anybody nobody entered the contest which is fine people didn't want to enter they didn't have to it just means i keep saving that mac and cheese uh, for the next giveaway and hopefully someone else will want it so that's cool it's fine it's fine You'll have to show me all the uh, metal band logos that look exactly like that. I didn't threaten to do any such thing. You can have the mac and cheese without the delivery system of the Cheddar Goblin. I am doing no such thing of that. Stop it. Uh, okay, so thank you for sticking around for the German. Now we're going to 
move on to the art section of stream. I don't know how well this will go because I am not an artiste by any sense of the word. Um, okay, switched over. Let me change the hub. Grab my paint. I think it will. It's it's a tough choice for you. Yeah, I either one will do for you in that in that sense of the word. Um so to my news at hand for today. So I woke up this morning and got the message that I fulfilled my uh requirements to make affiliate. So I did my hours, I did my days, I got my followers, and my average viewer account. Yay, or uwu and in Odin speak. Um, so I thought, okay, yes, this is my yourself paint, because I am not a digital artist by any sense of the form. And I am not good at drawing this, I kind of proved that, and Geo can attest to that when I tried to make my turtle. But this is just to get an idea of what I want. So I'm actually just going to clip and paste things um, and put them together. I have a friend who I have commissioned and he's going to give it his best shot at designing my emotes. Because they did amazing things in Microsoft Paint. And I have gotten these suggestions. I have um, been looking. I started looking to make my turtle design for raft um and i was looking through like crochet grid patterns um there's like a grid paint uh online thing that you can use um and that one looked good because it has like grids for squares and triangles which are the only shapes we can actually use to make our rafts so that one works and that was going to be my my focus for making my raft but since uh, I got the okay to do affiliate and start on that application process I figured I might as well start working on my emotes for now and I want to get a head start on that so I can give my friend a better reference idea of what I want so um, I'm gonna cheat and just do copy and paste. I'm not going to draw because my drawing is going to be kind of crappy on MS Paint. So I'm just going to copy and paste uh, the best looking things of what I want. And he's been sending me a few really cool things on Discord, which kind of go in the same vein. Let's see if I can grab the one he sent me. There we go. Paste it in here. And I'm guessing he's using um, GIMP for, for this. I'm told it's like the cheap Adobe Photoshop to use. Okay. So this is one of the ideas we have for um, for my first emotes, which might also be my badge. Um, I want to have a turtle design as love or like a hug. So I kind of wanted to do something like my initial idea was to have the big turtle shell, uh, probably in green. And this is a perfect uh, Polynesian design for a turtle and have the center be a heart uh, even though here it's kind of like an oval pointy shape yeah there's there's a lot of details and you can't really see most of them uh, once it gets shrunk down when i'm watching jigo's stream on my phone late at night and people post emotes i can click on those emotes and they get blown up quite a bit so I can actually see them better 
uh, on my phone than I can the tiny little emotes right now in chat. Uh, so I don't want to have too much detail. Um, so my initial idea, so I'm going to make this slightly bigger so I can fit more in there, at least for the moment. No, you only speak in a woos, right? Okay, I think that's as big as I can get it. So this is a good reference point of the kind of details I want to have here. So I wanted to have um, maybe the shape of the turtle will have the heart emote in compass, or we could have the heart on the inside. Um, so let me layer out my initial design idea for this. Go find them, because I set them up before I started streaming. So we have the turtle design, and then within the turtle, I thought it might be cool to have the heart. Is that special text? Is that, um, what do you call it? ASCII? I don't know. I can get this right size. <laughs> it's not Australian. <laughs> Because uh, it's upside down, yeah, because you do things uh, upside down and backwards, right? Okay, so within the shell, I thought, oh, wouldn't it be cool um, to have this? Although I can, I can clip it. Mind my, my clipping skills over here, they're not going to be very good. What are you doing? God, I suck at this. I'm going to blame my chronic pain on my hands because I can't keep it steady. Eh, close enough. Okay. So I wanted to have the shell inside of it, uh, the heart inside the shell. So we could have something like this. And I'm actually going to clip that and send it to my friend for reference so he can get an idea for a guy who's probably sleeping he's two hours ahead of me in texas I'm asking him to do me such fancy favors right now um so it would have that really cute heart in the shell. And depending on how much detail I, I may or may not need, I, I don't definitely the, the inside of that heart is not going to show completely because there's just too much detail. But I, I like that this has like the design. Maybe I'll just have a, a heart emote in itself that has that Polynesian design, which is cool. Um, my other idea, let me put this out of the way, was to have a Polynesian flower, which is a Hawaiian plumeria, which is the Hawaiian jasmine. No, sorry, that's pikake. Plumeria is a different one. And if I can find a good central design of it. Okay, here we go. Here's quickly. Okay. I might want to make it a little bit bigger. I should probably move it over so you guys can see it, right? Here. 
big enough to fit. And I can make it a little bit there. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's a, that's a very sophisticated, um, uh, what do you call it? It's a very sophisticated algorithm. And that's like wholesome and not wholesome balanced together, Odin. Yes, that's definitely a good one. If I can clip just the plumeria, which has the five points. And this used to be easy for me to draw. This is basically, and, and G goes here when I tried to draw my turtle. This is, ah, I get it. Uh, this is basically the shape I tried to do. Um, I am wondering the same thing as you, Odin. Um, I guess it's a new dance trend. And honestly, I think it's they see someone do it in a video. And then all of a sudden, everybody on TikTok um, start to copy it. I don't know why. There you go. Okay. Okay, clipped it well enough. All right. So this was the other thought to have maybe the turtle shell could be the heart and then have the um the flower in the center and still have like the Polynesian look. I'm I'm not that advanced either, Odin. I'm only on there because a few of the people I follow on Twitch have started posting accounts on there. And they post videos and things, so I figure I would be a supportive follower and watch them do those things. Um, okay, so this is one such option to have the plumeria in the center. Excuse me. And then either that or maybe get the heart there. If I can clip the heart again. And maybe make it small. But fit in there. the small before I clipped it. Get it to the size to be super, super perfect in the center. There we go. Oh, look at that. See, something like that would be pretty. I know, I know. And I just mentioned it earlier that I need to install it. But this is just the rough draft. This is not going to be the final product, trust me. I am not being entrusted with the complete final say on uh, on how my emote is going to go. The artist I am asking to do it will definitely have the final say on the touches. Um, right now I'm just doing reference things for him. That's why I said, bear with me. Um, in fact, I should just change this instead of art to Microsoft Paint because someone was uh, streaming Microsoft Paint earlier. See if I have it on here. I thought there was an option to do this. It may not be. Maybe they were just doing Microsoft Paint, but they called it art. I think someone is even streaming calculator. No, I'm getting a whirly circle of death, so I don't think it's a category. Or maybe just paint? Nope, not an option. So I'm just going to leave it as art. Because it's as good art as I'm going to do. So that's another option to have that heart be inside of the flower of the plumeria.
Well, I think it also, uh, depending on the calculator, because in, in chemistry and physics, we'd have our, um, our scientific calculators where we could program our, our formulas on there. And for calculus too, we had the advanced calculator. So you could do a lot with calculators. But I don't know about like Microsoft calculator. Oh, the Windows calculator, okay. Um, that is more advanced than I would ever uh, get to try something like that. Uh, so that is the Plumeria option. Now I will grab, try to find to grab, a Tahitian tiare flower as an example, which is similar to the Plumeria. It also has the five points here. I'll only just take a, an actual screenshot of the flower so you can see it for reference. But a lot of these stylized versions of this flower are not um, are not actually three. Se there are seven petals. When I had the flowers that I wear for dancing in my hair, um, they do have the seven petals. But the stylized art uh, versions of this flower do not have seven petals. They usually go very similar to the plumeria I showed you earlier with just the five. Oh, he made it on here. Okay, so let me find an actual plumeria drawing that might be a better reference. Or sorry, a Tiare drawing. Oh, this is cool. This one has, this one actually has the seven. So we have a few options to choose from as far as flowers. Get rid of it. Paint first. This one's really cute. This one might actually be a, a simple tattoo design in the future. Not committing to it yet, but I think graphic wise it might work. Break out and then see how this one shrinks. A, can't press my hand to actually it this way. Need to shrink it more. Oh, maybe I should have kept it. I should have kept it without clipping it. The the great burb migration. Because you like burb so much. Didn't we have a discussion in Gigo stream? Either you were annoyed by the sound or Gigo was annoyed by the sound. All those darn birds. No. Yeah, I think this one's better. Okay. In a circular motion, and we're circling, and we're circling.
I think that's the one we talked about, the, the Indian bird invasion. The taking picture of them. Okay, well, sure. Yeah, I think that one works size-wise. Um, probably better to clear, may maybe make it a little bit smaller. Why did I do that? Kiki, hello, Miss Kiki. How are you? Are you and Savvy? Uh, together now, finally. But I saw you posted when you were flying. And now I can do this because you're in my stream. And there you go. I gave you your first shout out in my stream because you are so awesome. Oh yes, more kazoo duets uh, with Savvy. That will be awesome. Oh shoot, I forgot. What was I doing? Oh, yeah. Make this slightly smaller. Drink it just a little bit more. I mean, it's a little busy. I guess it works. And I can have it within, maybe within this central part of the turtle, if we go with this turtle design. You're very welcome, Kiki. Yeah, it blends, it blends too much. So I don't, I don't want that with the white, but um, I'll keep it just for the reference. I just clip it the way I had it before. Rectangular. I see, but I have it big again. Oh no. Apparently, Odin dying has migrated to to my stream as well. Okay, let me clip this for my friend so he can get that reference. Although, I kind of want... I draw this a little better? Red pen, okay. I kind of want a burger. Keep that there. I can finally put the heart, maybe make it a little bit smaller in the center. Oh, too tiny. Too tiny. There we go. Yes, that would work to have the heart inside the tiare. We could, we could have one be like the badge and have the other one be the emote, I think. So that would be a good option to keep both designs. I'd still be able um, to show off that part of it. And... Oh my goodness, Savvy is in here too. <laughs> Thank you for following, Savvy. 
And speaking of our Finnish counterpart, hello. I haven't seen you stream in a while, but there you go. You get a shout out in my channel too, because you're freaking awesome. Thank you for following. Thank you for coming. <laughs> I know you guys are in the same room right now, right? I don't have my glasses, so I can't see it. Is that, oh, I'm getting close. I need three more followers, and then I can start doing um, stream raiders on here. And then once I get um, my affiliate and start getting points, I'm going to follow Mr. Fredo and start doing the Pokemon on stream to keep you guys entertained and having something to do in case my language teaching skills are not up to par enough to keep you animated or you can play stream raiders uh, in the meantime odin what did i say you know what i have my nightbot up so i'm gonna just go put that in the the restricted list word right now just because you said it again. I told you. It is not allowed. <laughs> uh, no, just... <laughs> anti that in my screen. I know everybody does it, but you know what? <laughs> oh, that was harsh. That was immediate. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> are you gonna are you gonna leave my stream? Are you gonna rage quit now too? <laughs> It's okay if it's okay if you can't hear me. I'm not saying anything important. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take you out of purgatory, Odin. Ah, you naughty boy. Okay, I'm gonna disable it for now. But you've been, <laughs> you've been. <laughs> no, it's not poor Odin. I warned him when he came in here. And uh, so I stated my rules when he got to the channel and he said that. And I said, I am not Jigo. I am not going to let him say that or talk about it on my stream. So he has had fair warning of the rules. He didn't even need to read them. He, I, was, I gave him verbally the rules. So he knew what was up. Yeah, I need, I need to do an Odin. He's getting his own jail. It's not a fish jail, it's gonna be an Odin jail. So that'll that'll put him in jail. <laughs> oh, it's funny that it timed you out for like a whole minute the second time around. So hopefully this is a deterrent and we'll teach you not to mess with that in the future. <laughs> Wouldn't, wouldn't that be the worst if it didn't and just had to hold it in jail the whole time? No, it's I hope I hope it doesn't ban you. I'll double check to make sure. But um uh, Oh good guy. Oh, we're not going to have this discussion, Odin. We're not. Just stop it. You're making me lose. You're making me lose focus. Oh, God. His jail is just a port potty Okay. Stop it. I'm going to just die on stream right now. 
you're enjoying this way too much. And this is, I'm so glad when we're talking in Jigos and in Kikis, you can't see me because this is, this is me when you're saying these things. And I have no poker face, unfortunately. Not a death stream. This isn't a snuff stream. What are you talking about? Oh me, yeah, okay. Me, me dying and laughing. That part could be could be a death stream. Uh, let's see. Okay, so that was the really pretty turtle that my friend came up with. Let me see if I find another similar turtle. Because I have I have the two turtles from um my original design. Let me bring them up from my start stream and my end streams. Bring up the pictures now. My game catcher. Quickly. Okay. And let me hide myself. So these are the basic turtles. Um, they're Polynesian design turtles. So something along this realm could also be used as a badge or an emote. Maybe not as design heavy as this is. Yeah, I think Kiki and I are, are similar in that respect with the uncomfortable giggles. My giggles do not mean approval. They just mean I have no other reaction except to giggle. So this is uh, just the options that I found for the moment. I don't know if there's really too many other designs I could think of, but I think the one my friend, uh, if he's lurking or working, don't want to call him out if he doesn't want to chat right now. Um, they're probably the best designs to use. I'm trying to see if there's anything else that we might be able to Key. Wait, do, uh, do that with uh, an exclamation. Because I think I have that one set up as a command. Do BRB, exclamation BRB. Oh, this one is more along like the color that I wanted for my tool. This actually had this on my truck. I had this decal on the back and kind of inspired the boat, the tattoo that I wanted. Thank you. Thank you for um, helping show that command, Odin. Here's the other option for the turtle. I wanted it to be a green turtle. It is a very neat command, but you know what? I have separation anxiety. So if you leave me, um, that is usually what I would say in person. And if you get up and go to the kitchen to get some tea. So I'm, I'm very needy in that respect. Or if you do something and tell you to go away, if you actually go away, I'll tell you not to go away that far. So this other turtle, I'm not necessarily a fan of the design, but I am a fan of the color, could be an option for my toy tool. I actually, maybe you can hear me, my brother's in the other room right now, and anytime we're teasing each other, I, I tell him to go away because he's too close. But then when he actually goes away, I, I get needy and I tell him not to go too far. Yeah, 
I want it both ways. Oh yes, go make coffee, Savi. We don't want you uncaffeinated for this. Odin, just what do you want me to add that to the no-no list as well? There would be no mention of bodily functions on stream. Just no. Oh yeah, you need to work at some point, Odin. You need to work. Um, so that's it for the turtle design. The second one that I wanted to work on. Uh, yes, you definitely would be. Um, or I could just have them be uh, go directly to jail commands and you'd be eternally in jail. So you get to pick. Do you want to be banned all the time or do you want to be an ode in jail all the time? Your choice. Although for you, Odin Jail might be a place that you want to be. So, I don't know. It's up to you. Life is jail. Uh, actually, can I make another one? Can I make another paint? And just have it pop up. Thank you, Odin. I appreciate that. All right, let me capture my next blank slate. Do different paint capture. Okay. So emote number two is the one that Frodo will not be a fan of, unfortunately. Uh, and it requires using a pineapple design. Oh, I forgot to show the other um, Tiare design that I was thinking of before I go into the pineapple. one. I should have sent my friend the other flower designs as well. That's, I don't know, it's a little wonky. I kind of like the first one, the way that first one looked, where it was just kind of like the petals are there, but not quite. And maybe less detail would be better for uh, an emote or a badge. This is a pretty one. I like this one. Cute little pink purple fuchsia tiare. Not, uh, not a bad choice. We'll see if it goes with the color choices. Yay, welcome back, Kiki. Let's see if there was another, another flower. The Plumeria stylized design. Use. Keep. Too small. This is more like a clip art show, but you get the idea. Yeah, I guess so those could work. Maybe I'll have my my badges be the flowers. I don't know, instead of instead of the turtles. 
and depending on how many months, if it's like the one month, three months, six months, year uh, subscriptions, it would change into like a different flower or simply they would be like colored in. That would be an option to have as well. I think that's it. This one's actually. It's very geometric. This might work. Might work. So, what are you and Savi up to today, Kiki? streaming today are you doing it particularly fun today or just chilling and hanging out i should We shall move on to the pineapple that Fredo does not like. Uh, Kiki, don't, I don't want you to getting banned like uh, Fredo. Fine. Oh, here's the one I wanted. So here's the traditional pineapple design. That's a little wonky, actually. I turned it off, so you're fine. <laughs> isn't that, isn't that, um, no, I was actually talking about proper Fredo Fredo. Darth, hello. Thank you for coming. Oh my gosh, I'm at the perfect time for all of you guys to be here. Yes, it is past my bedtime, but it is the weekend and I can stay up for a little bit. I'm going to go I'm going to go sleep soon, I promise. But the chat just got exciting, so I can't I can't leave now. Um So this is the pineapple um that I think we could change the aloha to a yes and i should find a way to do this and figure out where the darn text is Eek, lucky color yeah it's a little better okay Oh, don't you start with him too. You're gonna drive poor Gigo mad. Like apparently it's it's carried over from his stream and now there's woo woos in my stream. And he is he is not happy about it. Okay. I think I can flip that. Hold in, don't be saying those things. I don't know what that means, but don't be saying those things. Um, I see Gigo happy all the time. It just you have to catch him on a good moment. This right. Here. Yes, okay. This would be, uh, you can't really see the pineapple as much, but it's sort of the idea of what I want my emote to look like. So, I 
Kiki can uwu. Kiki is adorable AF, so she can uwu anything she wants. Oh my gosh, is Savvy typing for you? <laughs> Do not accuse the man. Yes, that would be my uh, yes pineapple. That is my second emote, and uh, Frodo already uh, is unhappy about that because he resides in the anti pineapple side of the discussion, which is unfortunate because there are pineapple people like myself who will always say yes to pineapple. And this design, which is very similar to a design I actually have on my towel. Go away, go away, there we go. Um, I like this because it's it's very simplistic. It doesn't have a lot of detail and you could still get away with um, with having it show up as like a simple simple shape. Thank you, Darth. That is uh, very true. Um, it's late at night. Maybe if it's strawberry lemonade. Um, so I, I guess it doesn't matter if uh, if there's any under 18 people here. A little too big. Is this like the new late night hangout? Is this where you guys are going to go on Saturday? Is there no one streaming on Saturday night? So you're going to come hang out at my place? It's just perfectly fine. We could just hang and watch me stumble on Microsoft Paint every Saturday. I'm there for it. Yeah. Did you just call me a towel? Odin, that I have a towel that has a pineapple design, which was gifted to me by one of my Hula sisters who gives me tons of things that are pineapple shaped. Eventually I will. I think this is right. Shape. This fits better, I think, and without all the busyness of the yellow, the yellow actually stands out. I don't know if I'm going to stick to the black color pattern, maybe do like very light green and if I do that, then the color won't stand out. I don't know. It's to be determined. Clip this, send it to my buddy. I'm sure I'm driving nuts because he's probably trying to sleep right now. And he's like, why is this crazy lady sending me pictures of pineapples at 2 o'clock in the morning his time? It could be worse. I could be sending him pictures of pineapples at 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. You know, the time Jigo finishes his stream. Okay, the last one I'm trying to find um, a better example to show you guys, which would be, um, I want to have a raid emote. Yes, or it could be Odin sending pics, please don't give him ideas, because he might actually start to send me pics right now while I'm streaming, and um, my face would not be able to, to hide the reaction. No. Although, um, one of... <laughs> Chico, don't encourage him. Stop encouraging him. Wait. Uh, are you gonna start a drinking game, Darth? 
like every time Alexis does something, take a drink. Um, I, I don't drink, but if you want to go that route, sure. I can't find, I can't find the picture of the Hawaiian warrior that I want. Well, didn't you say you had like some energy drink? I don't recall if that was, I thought that was you saying there's like an energy drink you're doing. Maybe if I do tattoo, boring warrior tattoo. I don't know what the sticky icky is. Damn it, Odin. Thank you, Gio. He just sent me something. I'm not going to open it, though. You know what? Whatever he sends me, I'm going to send you. So beware. This is what you've brought. Okay, then. Not that I engage in that either, but maybe you could like do a toke every time Alexis does something. If that would be appropriate. Please don't block me because of Odin. Okay, I won't send you his pictures. But I will complain that you, you were the reason why. Okay, I'm trying to think where I've seen... I have tons of these uh, little icons, and I can't seem to find any on Google to show you guys. I'm wondering if I'm just not entering the right criteria to have it come up. Okay, well, you need to get on Discord so I can send you the picture start. <laughs> I don't have a Discord, but Kiki and um, Jigo do, so you can... You can uh, sign up to one of them and then I can send you. Oh! Do, does it say Darth on there? Because I, I tried to look for you uh, on Jigo's last stream, I didn't find it. Stop it, Odin. Just stop it. Hmm. Maybe I need to change my criteria to Hawaiian pictographs of warriors, and that might bring it up better. I'll send I'll just send you my Discord ID on on a Twitch after I'm done with this. And uh, you can add me manually. Okay, so here's finally I saw I found someone. Here's a shot of the Hawaiian warrior, Polynesian warrior for the most part that we can use. Except he is holding his spear at the. Oh, thank you for joining. You. Um, he's holding the spear down, but I kind of want the spear to be up so that he's usually like the pictographs I see have the spear up and they're kind of like you know um, taunting the spear, and that's what I want to be my raid message. Uh, let me see if I can find another one if I get lucky enough because I'm not. A fan of this icon. It might be the only thing I can really reference for right now. Sadly. Oh, here we go. Totally past this. It.
Uh, why don't you send him some of those pictures instead of the shared spreadsheets out and that might make them stop sharing spreadsheets with you. Okay, so this this is the picture I was looking for as a reference so you can see um, the Hawaiian warrior with the spear over his head. They're about to wage war. And I think this is a perfect raid emote. Uh, so I will send this one to my friend. Oh, cool. Was it the the butt pads or the knee pads? I think you were looking for like the... So you, you don't fall and break your hip pads, right? Oh, and there's, there's another... Um, oh, the knee and elbow pads. There's another simple paint program. I know you told me to do GIMP and it does quite a few things and I will look into it. But there's another simple paint program that another streamer that did my um, my gasm emote, um, she uses it to make a number of gasms. And I think my gasm emote might be like a tier three at some point. And I might ask her to just like perfect it and maybe put it like a Polynesian twist on it. Um, and her program allows her to like bring in real-time pictures like this one is the drawing of a warrior on um it's not cloth it's like tree bark cloth that's very typical like hawaiian and samoan um traditional uh clothing and you could just bring in a picture and you could trace over it and then you remove that layer and it has like the 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 outline like the the cheat outline of it oh that's cool yeah i had i just thank you for coming fredo and hello and don't don't uh don't mind the lurk thank you for lurking i like it when they lurk and you can do a lurk i have i do have a lurk emote i really like your um the, the white beard one, like the little bit of the beard on there. There's Mr. Fredo. You get a shout out and you get a shout out. And I know you don't stream, but hey, you haven't streamed in a while. You get a shout out too. Oh, is, is that what it is? Yes, the club is all here. Apparently, my place is the place to go on a Saturday night. So, you, Club Alexis is open for business. No, wait, that sounded wrong. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> okay. Uh, Saturday night, Sunday morning, and it's actually after midnight, so yes, on a Sunday morning. Hey, did I miss Kiki? Where'd Kiki go? Flirt out. Is that flying, fly, Darth Flying Man, Fredo, Flirto? Right. Because we're shipping you guys now. We've shipped Odin and Frodo. Um, and now it's uh, Froden, was it? Or Freunden? I forgot what it was. And now we're shipping Darth and Frodo. It's a Flirto. I like that one. Cute. Uber, hello Uber. You, now you are way past your bedtime. It's 2.30 for you. You're in the same zone as Darth, I believe. I'm surprised you're awake. And there, you get a shout out too this morning. What is bed? It is that thing I spend too much time in but never get to enjoy as much as I want. Yes, Alexis forgot to hire the DJ. Okay. Uh, let me put 
put the let me put the the music on. Shall we go back to alternative rock, um, which is what I had on? Sure, why not? You can shake your groove thing to that. Yeah, you should fire the DJ at Club Lexus. Sorry. Well, usually I have my alternative rock turned on for the start of German because I think it's very applicable when we're learning German and harsh, harsh sounds and consonants go very well together with industrial alternative rock. But I should have had my Hawaiian music playing um, during, during my Hawaiian emote design, or more like a brainstorming session, because I'm not going to design them, unfortunately. I can just paint a picture, a bad picture. Yeah, 223, 225. You're in the right time zone for, for Odin, for, um, sorry, for Uber. <laughs> Your group thing is to sleep, Odin. Um, I think you better wake it up to to all those smart sheep. Otherwise, you might get in trouble. Um, so I hate I hate to be the bearer of bad news, guys, but I think I've reached the end of my stream. I was planning I was only planning to go till eleven my time, but it. It never goes uh, that long, and I don't. I think I out outpaced everyone. I don't have anybody to raid into tonight. Everybody else has gone to bed and left us by our lonesome. So thank you guys for coming, even if it was um, for a brief. A brief moment or if you've been lurking I highly appreciate you you guys are awesome um, I will try and have something more exciting Athena Latina let me go over there and see what she's what she's got going I like the name just because she's uh, she's a fan of alliteration how do you spell it underscore okay She's another underscore sister. I, I do like that a lot. She's doing labyrinthine. Okay. Okay, she's a Twitch Things family. I definitely uh, am all for that, so we can definitely do that. Um, okay. So I'm going to turn off the DJ because we don't need DJ anymore. Uh, thanks again for coming. I'll be back on again tomorrow night to raid into Jigo right before. Uh, so you guys will likely be asleep and still just getting up like Odin just saying, why the heck am I awake? Let me start this going. Bye, Odin. Thank you for coming. Yes, I raid into Jigo all the time. Uh, here's the raid message if you want to copy it and be cool and let her know it just came from Club Lexus. Um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow if you come to my stream. If not, I'll see you guys at Jigo's later. Bye.